Greetings, my brothers. Greetings, my brothers and sisters. Um, this is Brother West um, coming to you. Prophet West coming to you. Uh, I have a prophetic word. I have a word for someone. And and this word is a seasonal word. This word is a right now word on what's happening and why certain things are happening. And the word that God put in my spirit and told me exactly what it is is that he is removing bad habits. That's what God is doing in your life. He is removing bad habits. Let me explain. In the 13th book, book of Matthews, I believe it is, where it talks about the wheat materials, the man, there was this man that planted his good seed. But when he went to sleep, the enemy came in and sowed tears. And so when the reapers uh, noticed that there were weeds, tears with the, with the wheat, he wanted to pull them up. But the, the master said, no, don't touch none of it because you might damage what's good. But what you do, let it grow together. Let it grow together. And in harvest time, I will do the separation. And and that was the tares, the tares were separated from the wheat. The tails, the tares were bundled up and put in the fire, and the wheat were gathered to be used. And this was happening with you. This is what happened to you. You know, the scripture lets us know that all have sinned and come short of the glory. And so there are times when when you were not focus. There are times when you weren't hearing God, you were caught up in an emotional situation that pulled you a certain way. And when that pulled you a certain way, the enemy was planting in bad stuff, bad habits, um, bad encounters, uh, being around bad people. And so now this is your harvest time. And in your harvest time, the reason why things are being shaken up the reason why, in some cases, things feel bad and horrible, it's not a bad thing. God is shaking. God is sifting, and God is shifting. This is exactly what God is doing. He's He's sifting, and He's shifting. And so, what that means that He's separating the bad seeds. He's removing the bad habits. He's removing a lot of the uh, negative things in your life. He's He's He's, he's delivering you. And see, a lot of troubles that we have, they're self-invited. They come from things that we make choices on. The scripture says that, say that any man is tempted by God, but every man is tempted when he's drawn away in his own lust and enticement. And so, in this case, things that was accumulated along the way, along your walk, along your journey, now they're at a head. They're at a head. They have reached this peak because it's your harvest time. God is removing those things from you. God is freeing you. I know it doesn't feel good. The habits and see, cause there, there are a lot of things that you enjoy. There are things that your flesh like. But what God has done, God is removing it. He's removing it that you might be blessed even greater. And so just like I said, God is removing the bad habits. That greatness might come. That freeness might come. Might come. And the more the habits are being removed, the more and the greater blessings are going to come. Is that all right?